good evening guys so on the previous videos we spoke about two relationships two angle relationships we spoke about the corresponding angles and we spoke about the co-interior angles so now we have to speak about the alternating angles so let's move on with our notes so if you'd allow me let me quickly copy this Ah, no, not this one. This one is messy. Let's copy this one. And then let's paste it here. Somewhere around here. So now, moving on, guys. We want to talk about alternating angles let's use a black ink let's underline because there are people who actually don't underline they can underline any day to save their lives but then let's not talk about that for today let's keep on moving with our content so what we know about alternating angles is that they need parallel lines also about alternating angles we know that they are equal. So on that note, now that we have this about alternating angles, now I will need you to uh, imagine an alternating angle. We said for alternating angles, we are looking for Z shape and these lines must be parallel regardless of where the z is facing as long as it's a z then it's alternating angles regardless of where the z is shape it's facing it's still alternating angles we always say a horse it's a horse even if it has stripes it's still a horse all right so now in this case that's what we are talking about whenever you see a z formation it doesn't matter where the z is facing it is an alternating angle so there are only two pairs here of alternating angles please pause the video and see if you can find those two pairs so i'm assuming that you pause the video to check the alternating angles now i have to move on so the first pair that we see is this one there's a z formation here and i have this line is parallel to that line right and then um so therefore if those are parallel lines it means these angles in the armpits they are equal are we good so let's remove the annotations we are saying now that in this shape i have angle b1 and angle you write it with an angle cap i'm still saying angle b1 is equal to angle what what is this angle e4 so b1 is equal to e4 by what reason alternating angles which parallel lines are they using they are using this parallel line ac remember you mentioned the whole line ac is parallel to it's parallel to what df don't forget that you mentioned the whole line df you see that if you didn't find this one please pause the video and see if you can write down 
the next pair of alternating angles. There are people who still don't pause the video. When we say pause the video to see if you can find it, please pause the video. Okay. Yeah. So now here's another Z formation. And in that Z formation, you know that this line is parallel to this line. Right. So now, which means the angles in the armpits of that Z shape, they are equal. As long as it looks like a Z shape and it has parallel lines, it works. That's what we want. So let's write that one too. Oh, what happened to the detail here? I wrote something here. I forgot where. I didn't know. I don't know where it went. There, here we go. We are saying when we have a Z shape here, the angles in the armpits, these angles, they are equal. So now, what do we call this angle? This is B4, angle B4. Let's choose something lighter. Let's choose something lighter. This is too thick. So we are saying angle B4. Let's is equals to angle E2. By what reason? by alternating angles which parallel lines are they using they are using ac which is ac you call the whole line even though the line ends here you don't say a b just call the whole line i'm doing this to you because i want to let you be safe so ac is parallel to it's parallel to what df that is then so these are all the pairs of alternating angles i'll stop this video here and on the next video i will do the one of uh, vertically opposite angles thank you